Let's take a look at setting up a multi-scenario design study in CF Design, starting off in our CAD system. In this model, I have an LED-driven automotive headlamp. I want to look at the temperature of the components, as well as the flow characteristics through the heatsink and the heatsink overall effectiveness. I'm going to look at two different designs. I'm going to look at the original concept and a final design where we have modified the heatsink and housing. And I want to communicate these designs to CF Design, and the way we do that is via the toolbar which gives us access to the Design Study Manager. The Design Study Manager is a communication tool between your CAD system and CF Design. In this case, I'm going to start a new design study, but I could access and update existing geometry and existing design studies down here. So let's take a look at the model in CF Design. So we're going to leverage this new multi-scenario design study environment to set this model up very quickly. I'm looking at the first design, which is the original concept, and the first scenario, which will have a copper heat spreader. By looking at the design study bar, we can see that CF Design recognized the parts from CAD that had material assignments. Some of them did not, so we'll go ahead and set those up now. So for the housing and faceplate, I'll go ahead and make those polycarbonate. The optical lenses, which we see here, will need to become glass. So we'll go ahead and select that from our database. There are two other parts that did not have assignments, and they are these heat spreaders. And as our scenario suggests, we're going to go ahead and make those copper. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did for materials for the known conditions. So we'll select the LEDs, and we'll go ahead and give them a 3 8 of a watt heat generation per LED. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other heat generating components, which include the small chips here that we can see on the driver board. And we'll give them a nominal heat generation. The last component for heat dissipation is the main processor on that board, and we'll give it 1.2 watts. So we have our heat dissipation. We need to go ahead and select an environment. We'll go ahead and select the exterior surfaces and give them a 25 degrees Celsius ambient condition. And when we've done that, we are finished with the setup. Now I want to be able to create another scenario where I have an aluminum heat spreader instead of copper. So I'll just right click on the scenario here and clone. And I am leveraging the work I've already done. See if design will create a lightweight copy beneath the original and I modify what I want to change for this scenario. In this case I'll change the copper spreader to be the same aluminum alloy as the heat sink. But this could be anything. It could be heat dissipation from the devices, ambient conditions, mesh settings, etc. So there are at this point two setups for this one geometry set. Now what I want also is to make these two scenarios available for new geometry sets from CAD. So I'll just clone the entire design and I'll name it Final Design. See if Design made a copy of this design and now you can see I have two designs both with two scenarios each. So I have a total of four scenarios now that I've set up at this amount of time. So I just need to update the new design from within my CAD system. So in CAD I switch to the Final Design configuration and access the Design Study Manager again. It notices this time that I have a design study already opened and I can pick which design I want to update. In this case I want to update the final design so I select it and update that geometry. So notice back in CF Design it updated the geometry accordingly and correctly assigns all the boundary conditions and material settings etc. And I can jump in and begin to solve all four scenarios so in a couple of minutes We've set up two completely different designs, two scenarios each, for a total of four scenarios. CF Design, it's really changing the way people interact with CFD.